Hello, it's uh, Sean here with the Brass Seller. Uh, I've got a Martin Imperial trumpet uh, that I want to demo for you today, um, and where I want to talk a little bit about this one. Um, this is the Martin Imperial from the 1950s with the double reversed tuning slide. Uh, what does that mean? That means basically your tuning slide slips over the top of your pipes right here. So normally you'll get one going into the other. Uh, this is a double because they both are reversed in the standard, the, uh, standard configuration. So um, the reason I love this model um, and I've touted this as kind of the cheaper version of the committee. Everyone says that. Everyone says uh, the Holtons are the cheapest version of the committees. The poor man's committee this, the poor man's committee that. This one, uh, and I'll demo for you in a second, is about as close as you're going to get. Here is a Martin Deluxe committee from the 1940s. Um, so side by side, uh, there are s some distinct differences, obviously with the, um, the valve blocks being set back on a different slightly back on the committees, um, but there are some distinctive similarities too. Bas basically, they have a similar bore size. Um, the bells are very similar. They have a two-piece bell. Um, they pretty much bend in a similar way. Um, the committees look to be a little bit shorter on the back of the tail, if you compare that. Um, and that's to do with the, the, the placement. Um, the lead pipe's a little bit different, but all that aside, you're gonna get pretty close to a sound, um, and if you're on a, coming off a more traditional instrument like a Bach 37 or whatever, you're probably gonna prefer this model because it's gonna feel more familiar um, in terms of the way that it blows. Um, but in terms of the sound concept, C and forgive me for flubbing my note. Um, feels more comfortable to me because I play it more often. Um, let's try something else. Okay, just a, a short start there. Back to the committee.
a huge difference. I definitely feel a little bit behind the bell on this one, and I uh, would I pay the extra for it? Depends on my, my circumstances. Um, I would caveat this in saying that this is probably the finest committee I've found in the last 15 years. Um, it's beat up, it looks pretty ratty, but um, it's a 47 Deluxe and it's probably the best one I have. Um, I also have a handcraft committee as well. Um, so, but going back to this, um, you can still pick these up for under $1,000, probably, um, yeah, I would expect uh, retail to pay maybe six six to eight fifty nine hundred tops uh, on one of these. Um, you know they will uh, keep going up as more people discover them. Um, anyone that I've had um, over um, playing with me and I've had one of these, I've always sold them um, just because people uh, pick them up for backups. They already have a committee. They play them fall in love with the sound and the fact that it feels so comfortable. Um, so uh, this one here is for sale. Serial number is uh, in the 187290. Um, the only thing wrong with this is the little nib is missing off the back. Other than that, it's completely been gone over <coughs> by the fabulous uh, Kevin Powers in uh, Michigan Musical Instrument Services. Um, he's gone through this horn and he's uh, fixed it all up and got a playing fantastic. Um, so this one is available for sale. Um, PM me if you're interested.